Okay. Hi, uh, I am Jess Hippy and I'm a baby caring consultant um, and I set up Close and Calm just so that mums could see carriers and get to try them out before buying online and get some extra help and hands-on assistance. Um, and today we're going to meet BC and find out more about Joy and Joe and about herself. So BC, would you mind introducing yourself please? Thank you very much, Jess. So my name is BC Osandika and I'm the founder and director of Joy and Joe Baby Carriers UK. And we manufacture stretcher wraps, woven wraps, now ring slings now, and lots of other um, related accessories. Hello. Sorry, I think we're having some technical issues. Hello, can you hear me, Jess? The first time that you um, carried your children and what was that like was it really bonding or did you find it difficult and sweaty like how was that can you remember that experience and what it was like yes so the first time i carried my children i'll talk about the first time i carried them with a carrier and without the carrier so it was um mainly in the neonatal unit when i had the chance to hold my children because both of them passed through the neonatal unit and it was a very, very joyous moment. I think because when your child spends some time in the incubator, a considerable amount of time actually, there is usually the separation. So when you eventually get the chance to hold them, as usually when they're a lot stronger, it's usually something that you've been anticipating for a while. So it was a really, really big day for us. We're really, really happy. And then um, that's without a career. I, it was more of skin to skin care, and I used a piece of clothing at the time for my skin to skin care right there in the hospital. So, when I first used the carrier for them, that was when I received the gift from a really close friend of ours who, who is really, really enthusiastic about natural parenting. So, she gave me a gift, and I can remember saying to her that this, this looks really, really similar to the sort of carriers that we use in Africa. So, yeah, so it was, um, you know, a gift. It was when um, a friend of ours gave me a gift for, um, you know, my, um, more like a christening gift. So it was it was really, really lovely, um, a really, really exciting time. It was, it was a really, really exciting time. And I think, I think it was mainly because um, I have been looking forward to holding my children and carrying them. And then I I feel like, you know, that experience really took me back to my background and my roots. And it was a really, really heartfelt moment for me. It was really, really heartfelt moment for me. It really, really made me feel nostalgic because I usually help my aunties when I was uh, much younger. I usually help them to carry their children so I can get treats in return. So then holding my own children was such an amazing time, an amazing uh, thing to experience. Okay, that was really cool. I, I like hearing, I love the fact that you have personal experience. Um, and my next question is kind of related to that. It was, what do you think separates Joy and Joe from manufacturers? And what do you think makes yourself distinctive? Like, why why should people get a Joy and Joe wrap that's distinctive from the other wrap manufacturers? Thank you so much, Jess, for the question. Um, well, I, first of all, I think I have lost the video, so I can't actually see you, but I can hear you very well, as you can see. 
So I'll just go on to answer your question. That's a really lovely question. So for many, so this is for the benefit of those who don't know us because I'm sure that our customers who have been with us for a while and those who know Joy and Joe can attest to the fact that we are very, very customer centric. We put our customers in, you know, right at the center of what we do. We also place a lot of emphasis as well on high quality. This is the reason why our products are very, very distinctive. If you look at our woven wraps and our stretchy wraps, you know, the quality of our products really, really sets us apart in a, in a very, very positive light. We always listen to what our customers are saying. And before we released our super soft knee weave, we were listening to what feedback our customers were saying. Our first wraps, like our Blackberry Ripple and our original SMP wraps, these were wraps that we had durability in mind. Now, durability was on our minds first and foremost at that time durability style trend but durability was the first we wanted something that our customers can use and it would last it would stand the test of time and then when our customers then started telling us about the fact that they would need to break their wrapping which wasn't a problem for some people but they some people wanted a super soft wrap now this is something that we took on and said we will even do it for you we will even give it to you in a way that even tops any other quality and i'm proud to say that no other wrap can beat our fols our trilusions our feathers you know in the drape the soft drape the handle when you handle these wraps, you would almost think you've been wearing them for ages because they're so soft. And it's not just about the softness. The stretch is very, very optimal. It's the sort of thing that you would even think you are having from a stretch wrap because it molds over the wearer and over the baby as well. So, and we actually invested in research we had a lot and lots and lots of weaves in front of us. I mean, we are we are actually very lucky that we are situated and we are located in in the heart of the weaving in the UK. Um, and this is something that is really really nice that we don't actually have to travel too far to be able to get quality. I mean, I mean, even our customers should be proud of the fact that right. through our, through our business we are able to support the UK weaving industry. So back to our our quality. We actually invested in research. We looked at all the qualities of a good baby wrap. And we told ourselves that, well, like Oliver Twist, we always want better. Whilst our previous wraps were great, we wanted something excellent. So we brought all the good qualities from the best baby wraps you can think about, the best carriers, and we brought all these qualities together and these bettered our uh, fountain of love our trilusions and the fantastic feedback that we've had is is an attestation to the fact that you know all the efforts that we put into this is really worth it and so our quality really sets us apart the fact that we listen to our customers we do everything humanly possible to make our customers happy you know and even when things happen maybe if um a post is lost if someone's parcel is lost in the post. And these are things that are beyond our control. However, we always stand by our customers and do what we can, you know, anything as humanly possible. And in terms of the entire Joy and Joe story as well, the Joy and Joe brand is very unique. We were created uh, based on the inspiration our two children, Joy and Joseph, gave us. So this even sets us apart as well from many of the wrap companies out there and, and of course you know that we are not just into woven wraps we're into stretch wraps in fact um our major startup inspiration at the time was to um, make was to encourage much more parents to get into baby wearing via skin to skin you know, that's kangaroo care because that was actually how i got into baby wearing thank you for the question wait for the next question
I think we've lost Jess um, audio, but we just wait for her. You know that blab can be, um, you know, a little bit uh, technical sometimes. So we'll just wait for um, Jess to get uh, to come back live. You know, because this is actually live. So we'll wait for Jess. Let's entertain you with some music while we're waiting for um while we're waiting for Jess. <laughs> was actually about wraps so I know you have lots of different designs lots of different colorways and I was gonna make you do the impossible task of picking your favorite all right wow all her wraps are so beautiful and gorgeous and it'll be hard to make a choice I think it's like asking someone to make a choice <laughs> amongst all the children you know you'll find that it is very very hard to make a choice amongst um you know something you love something that you've nurtured like a baby from the start so um I love all of them equally they're all my babies <laughs> Can you narrow it down at all? All right. Uh, all of them. Okay. I would say perhaps because the feathers are staring right at my face behind. So I would say the feathers, all, the feathers. The feathers. The fluffy <laughs> shape of feathers. Sorry. Perhaps as the name, the long name. But the feathers. Okay, and so my hot internet signal. Let's just wait for Jess to come back. Last question is parent of two children who have additional needs, like what you would say to those people who are currently pregnant? Thank you very much, Jess, for the question. And I think, first of all, before I answer that question, can I just say thank you so much for your patience? Like we all know, internet can be very, very unpredictable. So I think the internet and technical issues, they've been a bit off this night, but I really appreciate your patience. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, as regards all these technical issues, the actual fault is from Blab. So, um, well, my advice you've asked that my advice to other parents who I expect are more pregnant and expecting, and they've been told that their baby is going to be disabled. So, um, this was kind of like the situation I was in, um, close to 10 years ago. So, I believe I am, you know, I have a lot to say, but obviously, because of time, I would just summarize and just tell you that you know doctors are doctors are they've they've been trained to be able to give you the worst case scenario because they want you to be prepared 
But there are some things that they will not be able to tell you. There are some things that they will not be able to um, predict. For example, no one can actually really predict the exact quality of a person's life. Even if someone has, even if someone is going to be disabled, and you already know while you're pregnant, that doesn't mean that your baby is cannot live a fulfilled life. So I would say this because of my experiences, my ongoing experience with my two children. Now, now that many of the things that were said to me after they were born, a lot of scary things never happened. But obviously, there will be some things that doctors will tell you that will happen because they want you to be prepared. However, be prepared to be positively surprised because your ch your child will surprise you. And I tell you that um, nurturing and looking after a child, especially me, is not as scary as the press um, make it look or the, the society even, you know, make. And it's going to be your journey, your personal journey. So... I am actually giving my this. I'm giving my opinion based on my experience, and um, but your journey is going to be different. Everyone's journey is going to be different, but I think all in all, I can hardly say that your child will positively surprise you, and um, your child will live a fulfilled life. Well, sorry, but um, if there's been any audio delays yeah. on your end, I mean, people watching, um, I know there has been a few mine, so um, sorry if there's a little bit of disjointedness there. But BC, thank you so much for your time and thank you for being willing to answer the personal questions. And um, it just really helps. It helps to know that you're a mom as well as the director. So thank you very much and thank I hope you. you have a good evening. Thank you so much, Jess, and have a wonderful Bye. evening as well. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And we're looking forward to having you for our next blab. Bye.